you live every day, but you just push. You just have to push, you know? That's just the way you do it. it life's hard already, you know what I mean? And addiction is even harder, but if you can get through addiction, you can get through life. <laughs> That's the way it is. It took a while, but you know, I was on the boat, off the boat, on the boat, off the boat in New York, so I had a chance to kind of move and just start over, so that's what I did. And almost 10 years now, I've been clean. I was clean for a year and a half before I moved here. Then in two weeks, everything changed and I started using again. Two months later, I moved here. So in a year and a half, I got my kids back. I, uh, you know, I was starting to work and getting family's trust back even. And after two weeks, it was all gone again. You know what I mean? Because I screwed up and I started stealing again and getting that money for the heroin. And from there, it was just like, you know, just stop, you know? It, after that, you just, it's like just a never ending cycle. And it's the same thing, hurting people, hurting yourself, stealing, trying to get your drugs. And it gets tiring after a while, <laughs> you know? And so I just was like, I'm done with it. I've taken methadone before, but I'm not really big on it. You know, I don't like the whole down. When, when you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. I don't like that. Like, I like the level and you know, I don't like getting high on my Suboxone. You know, it doesn't make me high. It just makes me function. It makes me be able to go out and enjoy life, you know? And I don't know where I'd be right now without it, to be honest, because I don't know if I could do it cold turkey quitting heroin the way I did, I don't think I could, so it's Suboxone's kind of saved my life and a lot of people think it's a crutch, but to me it's, you know, it's just pushing me forward and I don't want to be on it for my whole life, you know, I want to taper, I want to, and I've tapered down, I've tapered up, but in the 10 years you still go through rocky stuff, you know, so life is life and they throw you curveballs all the time, so, uh, but Suboxone's really helped me a lot. I'm very hard on myself and, you know, like the things I've had to do and go through. So I've been pushing towards being better on myself. And, you know, it, that's one of the biggest things for me. My self-confidence is in the dirt, but it's finally rising. So, you know, that's, that's the one thing I'm very proud of. You know, I've always been down here, so... I'm working my way up here and I feel good about it. <laughs> my youngest son, he's a mama's boy, you know. I could never do any wrong, but he knows that I wasn't there for six years. You know what I mean? Like, I was out on the streets doing my thing and we have to build that and we have to get past that. He wants to know why. And right now, I don't know that answer. So, he wants to know why, like, I, I left, you know, and couldn't stay, but... I didn't want to see them to see me like that, you know what I mean? Being high and drawn out and stuff. So that's a little, you know, eerie there. But other than that, my kids, they know and they love me for who I am. And they know I make mistakes. We're all human. I have, I'm a manager at Wendy's. I'm actually a restaurant manager. Um, I've been a general manager at Little Caesars here. I In New York, I didn't work. I was a stay-at-home mom. So to become, you know, a manager, let alone a general manager, it just kind of speaks volume, you know, for me, especially, I'm, I'm proud of me, you know. I go to work every day, I work 50, 60 hours a week, you know. So, and I walk, I, I don't have a vehicle, I walk back and forth, so. It, it's a little rough, but I love it, and, you know, I can do things, you know, make money and enjoy it. <laughs> Maybe pay some bills, but, you know. I always just keep working towards. I can always make myself better, you know. There's always better, no matter what, you know. You can, no matter what you do, you can always better yourself. You just have to find the way, you know. You might not see it right then, but it'll be there. <laughs> uh, it's tested me quite a few times, but just push through and then you find it. Find out why. <laughs>